Welcome to Ultrasound Reporting Tool, Tutorial Number 4. How to Set Up Dicom Communications After launching the app, you will need to log in as Admin IT. If you have not added an admin password to your app, check the tutorial on How to Create an Admin Password. The link is in the description down below. Select the Admin IT option. Select your name. Enter your admin password. Select Admin Page. If you want to communicate with your hospital DICOM server, it would be the best to ask your PAX admin or IT person to help you with this setup. Enter an application entity title or AE title for your iOS device. This very same title must also be registered on your DICOM server. We recommend to use Kotiba as a unique title for the app. Enter the IP address of your iOS device. If you are connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet network, your IP address will be shown by the app. Enter the listing port number. Most DICOM servers use 104. Enter the EE title, IP address and port for your modality work list server. Enter the EE title, IP address and port for your PAX server. You will need to register AE title, IP address and port number of your iOS device on your DICOM servers as well. Tap Save DICOM Settings to save the settings on your device. If you need help, tap on Help button to contact us by email. We will respond to you as soon as we can. Tap Authorization to go back to Login Page. Tap Next to go to Table of Contents. Select one of the topics and then tap on Modality Worklist or MWL. You can modify the search by tapping on Modality Search Field and changing the selection from the wheel. Tap Refresh or swipe down the table to refresh the Modality Worklist. If you have set up the DICOM setting correctly, you will see the list of patients for the selected modality. If you were unable to get the work list, or if you get an error message, tap on the gear icon to go back to DICOM page to make necessary corrections. If you change the settings, make sure to save the settings before leaving the page. You can also tap on logs to check the network communications and to see what went wrong. To select a patient, tap on a row to automatically populate the demographic fields with that patient. The required fields are highlighted with red borders. You must enter data in the required fields before you can move on to the next page. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always contact us by tapping on email support at the login page.